with these forward cuts to Toronto public health, Torontonians will die. A passionate plea to save lives. Today, health care professionals from across the province came together at City Hall to speak out against the province's latest decision to cut public health funding by $200 million annually. They say these cuts will impact every aspect of our health care system. These are by far the largest uh, funding cuts that public health has ever experienced. I really wish each of you could join me on one shift in the ER, just one shift, to see the human carnage. One of the most heart-wrenching realizations as a healthcare provider is knowing that an illness or death could have been easily prevented by public health programs. These tragedies are honestly preventable. Where will patients go for these services? We plead to you to change your mind. Really a wide range of healthcare professionals speaking out there, doctors, nurses, even medical students, all of them calling on the Ford government to reverse their decision, but it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. Listen to what Premier Doug Ford said in the legislature today about Toronto Public Health. And as for Toronto Health, you know something? I sat down there for years and it's just a bastion of lefties that sit on that committee. Matter of fact, we put them there, and guess what? Mayor Tory took the same strategy we did. Put all the lefties in one corner in Toronto Health. They come up, they, they, they say they can't find savings in 2011. We asked them to find 10%. They found it overnight. So, can the city find the money to make up for these cuts? Well, they say no, and in fact, Toronto Public Health will lose $1 billion over 10 years, a startling number that the province almost immediately called dramatic and inaccurate. So we crunched the numbers ourselves. We realized the city was only able to get to that $1 billion number under the assumption that they wouldn't be increasing their own city funding of public health programs at all over the next decade. Have you had a chance to review those numbers? Do you find them misleading at all? But what happened here is that the province announced a short-sighted and harmful decision. It took them a week and a half to come up with their own numbers, which they were unwilling to share, to try to prove a point. Nobody's lying here. They're just using funny math. Do you think it's realistic, though, that the city wouldn't increase their funding over the next decade? The City of Toronto has already set its budget. We went through six months of budgeting. You cannot cut a budget retroactively and expect cities to be able to handle that pressure. Healthcare professionals say if the province does go through with these cuts, we can expect to see more cases of measles, more people sick, and more hallway medicine.